Thank you. Patrick Harvey. Thank you, Deputy Presiding Officer. As Jackie Bailey says, the Equality Network have described this amendment as, as unnecessary, and I would guess that the Government will take the same view, given the existing protections in the Bill. But in speaking against this amendment, I think it's worth uh, recalling quite how strong those existing protections are. John Mason mentioned the phrase religious liberty. There is at present no religious liberty on the question of same-sex marriage. Those religious bodies and religious officiants who wish to welcome same-sex couples on equal terms are forbidden from doing so by the secular law, by this Parliament's law. If we want religious liberty to exist on this question, liberty has to be the freedom to say yes as well as the freedom to say no, or it isn't freedom at all. What the bill at the moment does is actually goes further towards uh, the, the constituency John Mason is seeking to represent uh, than pure religious liberty. If we were simply concerned with religious freedom, we would say that religious officiants are neither forbidden nor compelled to conduct same-sex marriages. In fact, what the law says is that religious bodies may forbid their officiants from conducting same-sex marriages, but they may not compel. And so the religious bodies, under this legislation as it stands, will have their freedom protected as well as the individual officiants. I think it's worth reflecting on quite how far uh, John Mason is seeking to go away from the principle of religious freedom.